Goku GT going to do Goku GT things. Ooh, oh! How's it going, everybody? Dotoroi here, and if you didn't know, I love playing Dragon Ball Fighters. But today on the channel, we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be watching Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay, maybe it's not that different, but I've decided to get two people pretty equal in ranks. Obviously, I haven't seen them both fight exactly, but I played against one personally. That's right, Zabaru, as you can see on your screen, is actually an artist that has worked for the channel. Very talented artist and pretty good at fighters as well. We played, and Mr. Clyde is someone that I found in the tweet thread that I put up for this video and he mentioned his ranks on both ps4 and the switch version which kind of made him stand out to me i was like okay you play in the switch version i see you so i thought it'd be a lot of fun just to get these two together the fight cheer them on see what happens in a first to three but with all of that said let's get ready to watch this amazing match and see what happens oh man so this is what it's like to not even be playing all right so on zabaru i'm gonna call zabaru crimson because that's how i know him hopefully he doesn't mind crimson side uh we have gogeta gohan and ui Goku with the C assist. And then on the other side, we have Videl, who I hope is going to be a standout character. Ooh. I don't know why I'm so excited for this. Look at the color scheme. I really don't know why I'm so excited for this. This is exactly the same as playing, only now I'm just watching. So I get to commentate a lot more on the actual game and focus on it. So who knows? Maybe the commentary will be different. But you guys can let me know if you want to see more of this solo stuff on the channel. Um, of Watching fights between some of you guys. This is obviously something Rhyme does a lot with his Gauntlet series. Very inspired by that. Um, I'm also on the Gauntlet sometimes talking with him. But, ooh, unless you want to get her. You should. I didn't even know Gogeta had that line. But here we go. Clyde on the left with Videl. Gogeta both opting to back up. And the C assist and beams are already flying. Ooh, I'm loving the usage of the assist. Oh, a great air to air. We see a clash. Ooh. Will we see the Gogeta DP here? Videl, very scary on offense. Beautiful reflex, but gets opened up by just a touch. And a nice down heavy as well. Couldn't finish the combo, which is fine. Now Go Gogeta gets to start his offense. A 6M opens him up to that C assist. We got combos here. Oh, he went for the combo route, but I think he might have done it a bit uh, too low. I don't know. I know that combo route. I've dropped it myself. Nice extension off the assist. Dropped it myself as well. Goku GT going to do Goku GT things. Ooh, oh! Oh, you got two H's, huh? That was nice. He's going to opt to get his level. Yeah, you always want to down tech against Gohan when he does that level up. As you can see, Crimson jumped up, or Zab jumped up to try to get that medium to continue pressure. Down teching stop that's in its place. Ooh, a little bit of lag, but that doesn't stop him. These guys were born in it. That combo also very clean. Base Goku's going to switch in. Ooh, nice block. Nice. Doesn't allow himself to get opened up with an overhead. EX legs. What do you do? He's going to try to jump away. Gets caught. And then when he's brought back to the ground, that's ultimately what's going to open him up. That was the end of his sparking time. Ooh, Gohan is going to stay swinging. And remember, you got to keep in mind during all of this offense, another thing is that Zab does still have his... E oh! The drop, the down tech into an, immediately, an immediate beatdown. And he was ready for that, too. Immediately gets that corner. Boom! Into the level three, which actually I believe this gives up corner. So that is going to be unfortunate but depending on the oki he might have a solution for this run up he does go high and that's where we're going to see that sparking advantage come to play a little early on the 2h goku gt gets the cornerback reflect no punish there oh this is intense does it get any extension off that just due to the oh my goodness the call out jab this is such an even match i love how this is working out oh but del c assist gonna get that easy dragon rush extension a little more damage out of the whole arrangement. Doesn't want anything. Great tech by Crimson, who I'm going back and forth between calling him Zab and Crimson. But remember, the right side is who I'm calling Crimson. Switches out to UI Goku, who's full health. This is the bastion of his team, I would say, right now. And he's getting comboed by GT, who seems to be the MVP. GT Goku is putting in a lot of work for this team right now. He went for the reset again. High, low, and this time, Crimson's been doing a good job of defending that, but you can't, you gotta, at some point, the humanity's gonna show. You can't be a defensive robot forever. I can barely do it for a second. GT Goku again, level one. This should be more than enough. And all of a sudden, UI Goku went from full health in a couple of hits, just two real combos, honestly. He got a reset and then that quick step. Oh, go on, that was just rude. Now the now the shoes on the other foot, dude. Videl is the lead in the lead in this game with health. Oh, a beautiful 2H up after a panic key blast. I probably would have done the same. 
Can Videl finish it off? I didn't even know she could super dash there. <laughs> I did not know that. But if any character could clutch this, it would either be UI Goku or Gogeta. And it just so happened to come down to Gogeta, who gets the hit on base. Goku doesn't over. Oh, beautiful dodge. Crimson actually went for the low option. Doesn't actually get the kill. I think he could have extended. Moonfish, nice reflect. But the vanish does hit. And one thing I got to bring up, the defense on these competitors is crazy. The defense is really good. That was really good. The defense on both areas were really good. Uh, obviously, I want to give shout outs to Crimson. He did really good. He liked the tech. That reflect at the very end was good awareness. It's just that he got caught by that vanish, which was unfortunate, but still. Woo! Videl finally gets that opening. That is good stuff. Combos into. We're seeing Videl combos. Nice, again, but the, the 2H is also another thing I want to point out. The 2Hs by these guys have been very on point. Um, love to see that. Obviously, some super dashes have been gotten away with. But again, like I've been saying, when there's a will, there's a way. And it looks like Videl is going to be taken out early. Not going to make it to end game this time. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Maximum speed. I wonder if he's just going to stick out with Go. Oh, nope, that's right. I totally forgot he had Gohan. You always want to get that first level with Gohan. That's the real test. Once Gohan gets that first level, he's practically... There's not a huge difference between levels 1 and 7, honestly. But you do want that first level, which he now has. GT Goku, a huge player in that last game, is now here to stick around. Oh, the EX Flash Fist almost worked, but Masenko was just big enough of a beam to get out of... Wow. This man just micro l his way out of the corner, and it worked flawlessly that was sick we might need to do a little replay on that but the 2h again no overhead pressure i'm done with it he says good wow what a use of the assist another assist oh just barely does it a little bit out of time and another great 2h oh couldn't continue the combo though man crimson's use of, of that assist that just really whenever i see stuff like that i'm like okay this is your main team huh you like these characters <laughs> nice little overhead with gt goku nothing crazy there just um obviously that he he's got options right so gt goku will get to you eventually Level three, we're going to see the Super Saiyan 4. Now that a teammate has gone down, in this case, Videl, Goku unlocks his true power of both Super Saiyan 3 on level one and Super Saiyan 4 on level three. Mm, and he gets the overhead hit. That's going to even up the game to 2-2. Two, two. Wow, he wanted to switch too. I got a little nervous there. He wants to switch. I wonder why he wants base Goku out right now. Base Goku's an excellent anchor character, so why would he be risking this? Because he wants to charge up a little bit of spirit bomb energy behind some assists? That could be it. That's what we saw him try to do. Overhead gets him, but maybe his decision might backfire on him. Mr. Clyde gets hit down level three. We're going to see some knockdown Oki from Gohan. What's the mix? You've got to be asking yourself, what's the mix? It's just low. Guard cancel doesn't get blocked, so he's free to go. He almost 2 h again. Expecting a vanish. Things are starting to settle between our two opponents. That's what I'm talking about. No 2H on the Super Dash. A little too close. EX Flash Fist. A great move for base Goku A assist. You could see he was in a lot of blocks done there. Couldn't really run. And now it's come down to Gogeta. It's come down to Gogeta twice. This time, though, Gogeta does have a little more working for him, such as being able to pretty much just one-tap Goku GT with any hit. And that is more than enough. That could have got him from half health, let alone that. Gogeta will take that. And now it's base Goku, probably one of the best limit break characters in the game versus Gogeta. He does have one stack of Spirit Bomb on him right now that he could opt to use. Doesn't get a block on the guard cancel. He's going for another one. Maybe he didn't have a stack. He might have got cut off too early, but now he does for sure. A beam! He might go into Spirit Bomb right here! No, no Spirit Bomb just yet. He's saving it for something in neutral. Oh no, a reset! Mid-screen mid, mid screen just goes for a reset! Crimson wasn't expecting him to continue pressure like that. And it works out. It's 2-0. It's going to be 2-0 for this team. And obviously, these are even fights too. Oh my goodness. Great matches. We love to see it. Videl is coming in again. They can feel free to skip the intros. That's what he said. I was like, yeah, let the intros rock out uh, game one. But other than that, woo! Sit down, Goku GT. Nice dodge, but not going to get him out of much. Oh, the second dodge, though, was sick. And gets him through the beam and the assist. And because Crimson couldn't see, he just accidentally walked through into the corner. Ooh, nice. But look, that defense is fantastic. Tried to get a 2H again in case he went for another overhead. Combo wasn't too devastating. Switches out. Honestly, punishment for that wasn't too bad. That was a worth switch. Go on down on his luck. Does he backdash here? He does backdash off of Vanish. We'll see if Crimson uses that information. Ooh. 
Nice. Beautiful vanish confirmed. Not going to get a ton of damage off of this. Oh, didn't even get the full combo. Oh, and Videl just leaps in with the justice combination. Nice B assist. Oh, I'm getting worried. I'm getting. I'm starting to sweat myself. Oh, beautiful. Nice spark. I think that... Oh, I don't know. Actually, I feel like that spark might have been out of pressure. That, that one might have come from... Oh, he wasn't blocking. He did the hold vanish, but must have wanted to go for a button at the very end. And unfortunately, Videl saw through that with a 2H. That's going to be the end of Gohan. Face plant into the level 1, and another level 1 is going to do it. Gohan is down early, and the sparking blast is gone. I don't know. It's it's going to be a hard comeback now. But we've seen him have defensive uh, feats like this before. That was a... Oh, did you see the base Goku A assist? Did you see the base Goku A assist, though? Absolutely insane. Ooh. Rolling Thunder. Oh, the double reflect in the EX. That was great as well. We're seeing a lot of what made Goku GT before his nerfs. They've nerfed Goku GT a lot. But before this, he had all this and more. A little bit of a key charge there. Wanted to get to two bars. Oh, nice. Nice of Crimson to call out the emptiness there. Gets a vanish confirmed. Obviously won't be too much. We might see a reset. If anything, that could lead to something big. We'll just be seeing sliding. Oh, and a reflect. Reflects like that. I don't know. When you have a big time lead, reflect is risking a lot. Just like this one. Doesn't go for anything fancy. Wants to just keep him there. Doesn't get the block on guard cancel. This is huge. He's getting another stack of spirit bomb. He backdashes here. Oh, what a read. He didn't backdash there. Crimson with the successful call out. I would have rushed up. I mean, I guess both would have worked, but this one keeps corner until the level three, which unfortunately UI does give it up, but he does it for the style points, baby. He's throwing it all in for the style. What's the mix? Does he choose to spark here for Goku? He doesn't. He clicks a button and UI is going to call him out. This is a huge comeback for Goku already. Even if he doesn't make it all the way, he's got a character off the board. GT's lost half his health and Bedell is now entering the field and another great backdash. The L's are going to do great. Doesn't unfortunately get the block on that guard cancel and does get hit with the beam don't get re oh don't get reset oh my god he's taking a lot of risk his his risk have been paying off though ui goku's been taking risk and making a name for himself with it just in just the right height for that full auto combo sit down in the corner Oh, but missed times the meaty. That might be the... <gasps> a homie drop? You knew these two were... Oh, but EX Flash Fist takes the game. And that is going to be it. Wow. What a set. 3-0. But they were close games. That was fantastic. Oh my god. Well, it ended up being a shorter video. Those fights were definitely intense to make up for. I had so much fun watching this. Let me know if you guys would like to see something like this in the future. I'd definitely be down for it. I had a blast, honestly. I could not have asked for a better first set. So thank you again to both Mr. Clyde and Zab Zabrio. I d again, I don't know how to pronounce his in-game tag, but Crimson, thank you so much, man. Also, thank you for all the work on the channel. If you don't know, he does thumbnails uh, for the channel, and they all look fantastic. But what a, what a game. What a game. I Again, if you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to go down below in the comments. Let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're trying to hit 400k, so I appreciate all the new subscribers uh, finally joining uh, joining in on the channel. Appreciate you guys so much. And check out some more videos that should be on your screen right now. Other than that, I have been Dr. Doya, and I will see you in the next one.